So you LEGO nerds really seem to enjoy that timer that I made, but this time around, there's no changing pendulums, it's more enclosed, and it's way more adjustable than the last version. The only complaint that I have about this newer version is that when the timer runs out, it just kinda stops. I also made a full instructions video for this creation, so if you want to build it, just check the description. So first, here are some demos on this thing working, and then I will show you how it works. For every click you hear, that means the timer is wound for 5 seconds. So here it is, set for 5 seconds, or 1 click. How about 10 seconds, or 2 clicks? Okay, what about 15 seconds, or 3 clicks? What about 30 seconds, or 6 clicks? Now let's try a full minute, which is this timer's maximum, which is 12 clicks. Amazing, right? The amazement only increases from here, though, because I'm about to show how it works. The first thing you should notice is this rubber band. It wraps around an axle and is what provides the rotational motion for the timer. This piece makes sure that the timer isn't wound up for over a minute. It also stops the timer when it runs out. There's a differential here so that winding the timer doesn't turn the clock escapement backwards. The ratchet that is attached to that differential is what makes the clicking noise. But wait a minute, how did I know that one click was five seconds? Well, I added just enough weight to the pendulum so that the timer would last one minute. The side of the differential that the ratchet is on has 24 teeth. So 60 seconds divided by 24 teeth would be what, two and a half seconds? Wait, what? So why are we getting five seconds per click? Well, get a load of this. You would expect exactly one turn on the second gear of a one to one gear ratio if you turn the first one only once, right? And yeah, that's exactly what we see here. But now look what happens if you replace the first gear with the 24 tooth side of a differential. Note that the gear in the back is locked and can't turn just like it is in the timer. Hmm, now it's magically acting like a 1 to 2 gear ratio despite the fact that each gear has the exact same number of teeth. And for all I know, this could be magic. I don't even understand why this happens. You know what, it's Halloween. It's probably a ghost, or, or some witches. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right, it's because of witches. So now that we know this, it's 60 seconds divided by 24 teeth, times 2. That is more like it. Therefore, each tooth that moves along, or click, is 5 seconds. Alright, that's about it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or the witches will come and steal all your Lego. See you in the next one.